Level 7. There are extra static joints. The car is a double speed dune buggy. The budget is slightly higher. But the car is moving in the wrong direction. Oh my god. It starts facing the left, and when it hits here, it's gonna be facing the right. So it's double the speed, it's 30 meters per second. So what, we need to do two half pipes? I just wanna see where this takes me. Oh, it doesn't even get that far. That was on three times speed. I am actually shocked that it doesn't do anything much to eat it. I need the slope to be more gentle. 45 degree angle launch is key. Here we go. That should make it. Oh, son of a... This even broke. Oh, that's brutal. Let's try to do this just to save money for now. And then these have got to become cheaper. I mean, we all know that has to happen. Let's try to have this go higher if I can help it. Higher usually means farther. Okay, there we go. So now it's going to turn around and do the same thing over here. So that's what's brutal. I could probably do this twice. Like so. But I'm 50% over budget. And there's a chance there's, this doesn't even work anyways. Due to like the nature. Like this doesn't have as much time to accelerate now. So it might not even go that far. Look at Yeah, look at that. So I need to change this up for sure. <laughs> it actually... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. That's per... Oh. That's not perfect. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Come on. Do me a solid. Yeah, that should win. Oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> All right, let's try to save money on this jump now. This is where I'm actually going to save my money instead of the other one. These will just have to be wood. Let's just straight up do wood right now. Janky loop. Because this one's so perfect, I don't want to change a thing. God. <laughs> um, well. Does this work, hypothetically, even though it's over budget? I really like where the ramp is because I need to let this accelerate. Oh, no brakes, so we should hit the flag. So now we're just $8,000 over budget. Nice. Let's get under budget. Alright, so maybe I could somehow mess with this and not ruin everything. I don't know, maybe both loops could be like that. Let's try it. Bad, bad, bad breaks. It's the it's the wood breaking. I mean, I could steal it up, but for how long? Um, I guess for not that much. Because that's no breaks. Please still work. Oh, that's beautiful. So now we just need to do some patches here and we're good. Okay. Well, I'm glad I saved money on that loop. Oh, jeez. The whole thing shatters. Oh, oh, just a measly break. Under budget, but with breaks. Let's, we're so close. These weird-looking half-pipes might just be the solution. No breaks? It hits here, but it does actually break. Oh, it doesn't break. There we go! Awesome. Love to see it. So let's see what other people did. This was strange. Look at this. It, driving upside down. I'm glad I didn't do this one. I definitely like my solution more than this. This is just mega jank. Like, what the fuck is this car doing? How is it moving? Is the top wheel just barely grazing the top road? Barely propelling it forward? Like, what? I mean, it's funny. Don't get me wrong, but my god. Anyways, let's carry on. Level 8 Master Mode. The budget is greatly increased, but the gap is slightly wider. You can only use 11 roads, and you can't use rope or cable. Wait, so how far does 11 roads get me? That far. There is a gap of 5 meters. So I feel like I need to do gaps in the road. That makes plenty of sense. 11 roads, so there's going to be 12 gaps of 5 meters each, or we could do 10... 10 gaps of half a meter each. That might be the plan. So I do this and then that, and then just copy paste this for eternity. Or I could do a swing, but I don't have rope, so I don't trust the swing for that. I might even just make these roads reinforced just to be safe. We have a lot of budget 
and the truck goes fast, so it should be able to clear these gaps quite well. If it doesn't clear the gaps, I can just create a, a bit of a vertical difference over the gap so it can make it more easily. That's over budget. Oh, let me just see if this works, then I can shave later. Oh, easily. Not even a question. Yeah, we can save a lot of money here. I guess this middle part can probably be lower. Maybe like this. And then, and then I might even just lower these as well. So there's sharper edges. Hopefully nothing shatters. Very good. Not bad. Looks pretty neat. Like the aesthetics, very close to breaking, I will admit. But that's not my issue. Let's go. Next level. Level 9. The budget is slightly higher, but the static joint is much lower and you can only use 8 roads. So we have $11,500. And how far does 8 roads get me? Oh, there. Okay, so the 8 roads means you just can't dip down. So the real challenge is the fact that this joint is so much farther away. So this is actually gonna be pretty challenging. I'm gonna try under over, but it might be better to do all under supports. I'm not sure yet. Let me see if this balances, because this is just a better support. If this does, then I can shave money on the sides. Oh, unbelievable. All right, the bottom looks excellent, and we don't even get that high in stress, but it's also very high over budget, so we're gonna have to do a lot of work here. Let's lower this for sure. And then maybe I can get rid of this. Let's see. Sure. That's another thousand to go still though. I think I'll need to turn off the grid for this. So something like here. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to have grid off, I think. Let's see if this holds better. It does. 600 bucks to go. Can I, this, can this just reach? It almost can. Oh, hold on. Unbelievable. Raise this up, raise this up, raise this up. Oh, that does reach. It's kind of a big deal, I think. Still $500 to go, though. Let me try... Having an under support here. How about that? That's gotta be cheaper. Oh, God. Brutal. I would have to do the same on both sides. And at this point, I think I'm spending more money. Well, maybe not. The top, the top does not see the much stress. Maybe the top can be cheaper now. We got less stress in general, so let's bring this down. Let's save a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, it's getting better. So the weakest pieces, or the um, least stressed pieces are these little stabilizers in the middle. So I wonder if I can do something about that. Or maybe just try to adjust this without these pieces breaking. We're very close, within 200 bucks now. Ooh, looking good. 39 bucks to go. Oh, did it really say 99.9% .9 stress? Great. I have no idea if optimizing is possible. Let me look at this, maybe see what doesn't get stressed. Uh, it's just the stabilizers. Pretty much everything gets stressed. Like, watch this. Stress, 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 stressed, stressed. The least stressed things are like the outer things like this, but we all know this doesn't work. Maybe I could get rid of this. Well, this is part of the arch, so I would be shocked. Oh my god. Wait, this is actually really good then. <laughs> well, holy shit. I didn't even notice that piece. Let's go. People probably got it for like 8,000 anyways, so there's no point in competing. Tangling road. What the fuck is this? Anyways, next one. Level 10. You get no extra help, but the budget is reduced. You can't use steel and don't touch the spinning saw blade. Well, I really want to touch the spinning saw blade. Oh, that's fast. <laughs> that is a fast saw blade. That will completely obliterate everything. I'm going to touch the saw blade. <laughs> it looked fast, but it didn't look that fast. Oh my god. Well, the bridge even broke. 
So I really need to go over the thing. This is going to be a really challenging jump to make. I wonder if I almost want to have the jump start from farther back. Okay, let's have it be a regular spring. Neutral. And wow, this has no speed. How on earth am I going to get it to accelerate up? A spring pull. We simply pull. Fast car. Okay, I mean, it's pretty fast. That helps out a bit with the speed. So with that in mind, now we just need to launch it up. Maybe to here. I just need to get over the saw blade. So come on. Do me a solid. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, we made it past. Uh, I don't think that's really the plan though, in all honesty. Let's just send it higher instead. <gasps> no, that was so good. Damn, that's so close. Maybe I could get away with one more road. I'm worried about a one-road catch, but maybe that's least of my worries right now. Because look at this shit. Sure, the jump is great, but by God. Just because we clear the saw does not mean we're anywhere close to beating the level. Who knows, maybe I can keep messing with it. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's actually possible that I managed to get it to land on the land. All right, let's go. No! That landing was so close, though. That would have been sick. Come on. You can do it. Yes! Let's go! No br- Oh, there is a break. Where did it break? No, this piece. I really do want to get it to be without breaks. But when a reinforced road breaks? Did it break so late? When does it break on this? Just somewhere around here. Damn. Either way, this was very fun. I might just give up on this for now. I might just settle with the break and move on. I don't think I want to keep playing this one. It is what it is. On to the next one. 11th level in master mode. The compact car is extremely fast. The budget is slightly higher. There is an extra static joint. You can use the hydraulic controller. But you can only use five roads? Are you on crack? Five roads for this. How? What? So what I'll just do is make a jump like this. A very subtle jump. And then I, all I want to see is where the van stops. Let's see where the van stops. Alright, so actually right here. So here's what I'm thinking now. I'm going to split this off. Have this stay attached. We just need to take this and bring it over. I think I'm just going to even do something simple like pulling this up. This might be enough. Up it goes. Neat. So now I need to have the whole thing kind of go to the right. I don't know what this hydraulics is going to do. It's not going to push it that far right, but I'm hoping to push this a little bit right. Because I do want it to jump. Well, it went to the right. It was kind of neat. I think this can become a hydraulic then for the same purpose. Just have a whole structure full of hydraulics maybe to get this going. And over. Eh, we're getting somewhere. We just need more support going to over here. This could be good. Alright, so it doesn't make the jump, unfortunately. But it gets pretty darn close. One more road and we would have it. This needs to expand. I'm just gonna let it tear itself apart, in all honesty. It's fine. I could maybe make this a three-way split joint if I wanted this to not get destroyed. And maybe I should do that. Drive! You can do it! <laughs> like, come on, it's so close, right? I think it actually will work. The wheel's gonna hit the ground, and then... Yeah. <laughs> it does work. I bet I could get this to be unbreaking with the power of three-way split joints. Let's see if I can do it. So, what I'm gonna do is this, and I'm just gonna do a little brace like this. Like, this could work. Then I just maybe need to change some of this up, but since this is won't have to attach, I assume that, yeah, it could just go over. And then it's a little bit slow, but we do get it without brakes. So there we go. The weird funky crane thing. Nice. When we slightly jank, what are you talking about? This is completely calculated. 
Sometimes the van people just need to be patient, and this bridge teaches them that lesson. It's not often that bridges instill morals into the drivers on the road, but this one does. Not many people could say that about their bridge. Alright, I got time for a couple more. I'm feeling... I'm feeling one or two more. Let's try this one. 